And the person we're really here to recognize tonight, General Myatt, sir, uh, thank you. All the stuff you've done here in the city and all the stuff you've done as a Marine and all the stuff you've done for families and for our veterans and our kids, I don't know how we'll ever repay you for that. Our history is what we're celebrating tonight. A great history, a legacy of, of, of discipline, a legacy of commitment, a legacy of excellence on a battlefield. Now what do we talk about what's going on today? What's your, what are your Marines? Our Marines, not mine. What are our Marines doing today? Our Marine Corps is about 186,000 strong, active, about 38,000 in the reserves, and they're in the active reserve. About 35,000 of those Marines are deployed. There's really basically three kinds of Marines, those that are forward deployed, those that just got back, and those that are getting ready to replace them. And it's busy. I wish it weren't that busy. We have the world that we have, not the world we want. And if we're going to have the world we want, it's going to take some effort, not just from us, but from people like Secretary Schultz and our diplomats and other people who are out there trying to set the conditions so that the, the world's a better place. The world isn't always cooperating, and that's when we come in. So whether it's the 22,000 Marines and 3MEF west of the International Date Line tra training on the Korean Peninsula or in the Philippines or helping the Filipinos with their own insurgency, uh, at sea underway, the Marines we have back in Afghanistan, we got back in Afghanistan this spring, and we're having a certain amount of success, um, but it's not, gonna, it's not gonna change overnight. Things in Iraq, uh, we've got a fair number of Marines in Iraq, in Iraq and Syria, and throughout the Middle East, and ship and, and on land and in the air, and we're part of that campaign to defeat uh, ISIS, which is ISIS as a caliphate, not ISIS as an idea, not ISIS as an ideology. That's going to take a lot more work. But ISIS as a caliphate is almost over. But it's not going to end. I wish I could tell you it was going to end. But our Marines are in the middle of that. Whether we're in Africa, whether we're at ships in the Mediterranean, we got Marines in Romania, we got Marines in, in Siganella, we got Marines in, in Marone, Spain, we got Marines in Norway. And then we got the Marines back at home. We just had a group of Marines go down to Puerto Rico in the, in the Caribbean for the disaster relief. There were a lot of re Marines involved in the, the first hurricane that hit Texas, many of them reserve Marines, on their own time, mobilized and got out there and helped people, rescued them from the floods and helped from home. So. We've got a good Marine Corps. We're not perfect. We have stuff we've got to work on. As I mentioned, I was just at 29 Palms. Most of the people in this room remember exercise we call CACs or Combined Arms Exercise. Now it's called ITX, uh, Improved Training Exercise. And we're back. You know, if, you know, if I took you out there, General Johnson, if I took you out there, General Myatt, General Spies, you'd probably go, this is just like it was when I left. <laughs> because it's Combined Arms. It's air, artillery, fires and consonants with maneuver. There are some new things out there, some new capabilities, but it's blocking and tackling. It's doing the stuff we need to do to get ready to take on whoever decides they want to test us.